Hey foodies! What's up? How you doing today? Here is your girl Noni Murphy and this is Whippin' in the Kitchen. We have so many wonderful holidays like Valentine's Day, Lunar New Year. There are so many reasons why to celebrate this month. But I wanted to tell y'all that this is a special month for me. This is Black History Month. Let's kick off this month with some Black History facts, all right? So, here are some fun, interesting facts about amazing African-American people who have changed the way we cook and eat. First off, I wanna give thanks to this lovely gentleman named George Washington Carver who has used the peanut plant to create more than 300 inventions alone using that little small plant. <laughs> Next off, we have a man named George Crumb. If you love potato chips, you will love this man as well because he created it. Next off, we have a man named Alfred Crayel and he was the one that, the man that created the ice cream scoop. We also have to give thanks to Mr. Frederick McKinley Jones because he was the man that created the refrigerator. Now, do you guys like cookies? Cause there's a man named Wallace, AKA Wally Amos, um, and he's the founder of the famous Amos Cookies. So many more people that you can Google online to see all their creations, but we want to celebrate these men for their, first of all, their genius to help improve our lives as we cook and as we eat our food. Let's continue on with our recipe. So. Let's dive into this meal. This meal is a personal favorite of mine. I love cornbread and we are making some cornbread. Now we're not doing the old fashioned way like I used to do it, but we're gonna use a box. Something easy, a good starter. You're going to love it, okay guys? Let's get it started. Let's go downstairs to the kitchen. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so let's review our supply list. So today you are going to need about one third of a cup of milk. You're gonna need one egg. You're gonna need, of course, your cornmeal mix, or if you're doing it the old fashioned way, just straight cornmeal. You're also gonna need about a cup of sugar. You're gonna need some butter. Now this is gonna be helpful to prep your pan. And once the butter cools, after you let it, you know, kind of heat up in the oven, you're gonna pour it into your mixture. You're gonna need a bowl. This one is special. I'm using this for Black History Month because this is my grandmother's and it's been passed down from generation to generation. You know, all about that culture. And last but not least, you're gonna need a spoon. So let's get this party started. I'm going to turn our oven on for 400 degrees. Alrighty, so with our pan, I'm going to place our butter not a lot, just enough. I would say that this is maybe like one tablespoon worth of butter. I'm gonna put it in our oven. Now we're gonna head over to our mixing bowl and we're gonna get started with adding in our ingredients and start whipping them up. We're gonna plop in our cornmeal. Next, we're gonna add in our egg. And then we're gonna add in our lovely milk and we're gonna get started stirring. We're not gonna add in the sugar just yet. We wanna make sure that everything is kind of grinded down because cornmeal is kind of lumpy and you wanna to try to avoid the major lumps and bumps. So we're gonna get started with this first. And same trick that we usually use when we're stirring up batter, you kind of rub on the edges so you can get all the lumps out. So as you can see, most of the major lumps are not there anymore. And that's why it's best to kind of scrape along the edges so you can get any bumps out. Now that's just the clumps of the cornmeal. You wanna to try to make it as smooth as possible. It won't be perfect, but you can definitely be close. So now I'm going to check on my butter and then we're gonna add in our sugar. So it's almost fully melted, it basically is. So we're gonna give this a few minutes to cool down. We wanna make sure our butter reaches our edges because your cornbread will not be flat, it will be slightly raised. And let's give it a chance to cool out, stirring our sugar. All 
Alrighty, so my butter has now cooled. I'm gonna put in the excess butter and I'm gonna slide it in here, stir one more time, and then we should be good to go. We can put it in our pan. Alrighty, so my oven has just rang, so it's ready to go. I'm gonna plop it in the oven, and I believe the cooking time is about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll come back in 30. I'll probably come back in 20, because my, my oven's a little funny, and we'll see how the progress is. You want your um, cornbread to be golden and slightly golden brown, depending on how you like the color. All right, so let's pour this into our pan. I'm so excited, I'm sorry, I'm so focused. I'm like trying to make sure I don't drop this bowl into the pan. <laughs> but I'm so excited for this cornbread. Ah! Alrighty, we're gonna get out the little extra scrapes and then I'm gonna put it in. Alrighty, so my cornbread is out. As you can see, we are going to take a look and make sure it is cooked all the way through. But look at this lovely color. Now, like I said, it's up to you. People like their cornbread a little lighter, people like their cornbread a little darker, but I think this is a nice, lovely color for our cornbread and I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna get a little close and I'm gonna stab it and see if it's fully cooked all the way through. Looks pretty clean to me. So our cornbread is ready. We can serve it up now. Look at that beautiful piece of cornbread. All right, I'm about to take a bite. Now you can have this with breakfast, lunch, dinner, or dessert. It's really up to you. Cornbread is so universal. And I could speak for this personally. I love having cornbread, especially with a nice hot meal of black eyed peas, maybe even fried chicken or fried pork chop. It is delicious. It's a, it's a true staple. It's soft. It's the right consistency. It's not lumpy. <laughs> and it's so good. All right, I'm gonna devour this off camera. <laughs> so let's finish up this episode. So I hope you enjoyed those wonderful facts. You didn't know some of those, didn't you? Ah, you learned something new. You know, we are all amazing human beings and this is just another month to commemorate, to understand, and to acknowledge these great creations from these wonderful black women and men. So we thank you. I thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you until next week, all right? Toodaloo, bye guys.